Dear brothers and sisters, my name is Suzanne Jambo. Today is October, Wednesday, October 18th, 2017. I greet you all inside South Sudan and the world over. My brothers and sisters, I have decided to come forward today with my decision. And let me assure you, my brothers and sisters, my decision is not a personal ambition. It's not because I want a top seat, the top seat in South Sudan, that's why I came here. No, it is because for the love of this nation, and I've observed for many, many, many years, that we do have a problem with the leadership in our country. I can no longer keep, secondly, I can no longer keep quiet and I can no longer watch in silence when our people are suffering. You are all suffering. Inside South Sudan, displaced people, millions of them. People are very hungry. People are in refugee camps. People are in the diaspora. You, are, you have sleepless nights. You are worried about people back home. You are here, you're getting phone calls from back home that are disturbing. I feel you. I feel each and every one of us inside South Sudan and outside South Sudan. The time has come to claim this country, to claim the leadership in this country. From 2005 up to now, the problem has been centrally in and around the leadership. Many people wanted the top seat. They took us to war because of that. Many people are clinging onto the top seat and they're not capable of leading the nation. We are so polarized today, 64 tribes hating one another. Many re different regions are pitted against each other. The time has come to rescue our country. We do not want our country to be a forgotten country of many conflicts. The time has come to rescue our country. Our country needs us. And I'm sincere and honest in my quest. It's nothing to do with what I want. It's all to do with what the people want. I have a roadmap for peace. I really know what the absence of peace is, like many of all of us feel it. I have practical ways. Since I have been in the peace talks in 1999 and up to 2000 when we signed the CPA, I know what has been missing. My voice has been a tiny voice in there. I could not voice it. I tried, but I couldn't. As well, from 2005 up to now, the absence of peace, I know where the missing, where the, where the missing points are. The people might themselves must be heard. The people themselves must be in it. The people have to own the, the peace process in South Sudan. And that's where the problem has been. And I want to be able, through me, to give the chance for the people to be heard. Youth, men and women, community elders, leaders who have been marginalized and have been oppressed, they need to come forward and reclaim that country. I want to facilitate for that. I want us to have a hardworking nation motto. No more laziness, no more sitting under trees, no more sitting idling all over the world. No, it is time to work. The, the country has many potentials. Agriculture, we have potentials there. Um, uh, natural minerals, we have potential. The land itself is huge. There are a lot of potentials there. We need to have investment laws that protect indigenous people, indigenous resources, as well as that are friendly to neighboring and international community. We need to have security in place. We need to have personal safety. We need to have good education. Our children are the future leaders. We need to invest in our children's education, quality education. We need to have hospitals, medic adequate medical services. We need to have all of these things in place. These are the things missing. As well, we need to have infrastructure. We need to have roads. We need to have uh, bridges. We need to have connecting roads within the many countries around us. South Sudan is a landlocked country. It needs to have cooperation agreements with, with those countries so that we can have openings to the world. We need to have excellent relationships within South Sudan, among ourselves first and foremost, and within the neighboring and international community. There is so much that is missing in South Sudan. No more we want any schemes against us, by us. We say enough is enough to that. We need to bind ourselves together as one people. We need to love one another. We need to heal our wounds of many years. Since Anyanya won in 1955, South Sudan has been in big, deep wounds. We have been bleeding. Even in 1983, when SPLMA started the war, we have so much wounds in ourselves. The time has come to heal those wounds together with our own making. And we have been robbed of our opportunity to have our dream as free people, dignified people in this world. In 2005 up to now, our rulers, our leaders have denied us that opportunity to be able to leave as dignified people. 
The time has come to reclaim our country. The time has come to own our peace. The time has come to own the destiny of our country. The decision lies in you and in me. I'm not going to keep quiet anymore. The time has come. Thank you very much. May God bless us all. Suzanne Jambo, your sister.